we just recently got a pretty big update on what the CW was planning with its Arrowverse had it not been cut short. And there were plans in motion to bring in Kevin Conroy in Gotham Knights and allegedly some talks to also bring him in as Batman in Superman and Lois. <laughs> So people that are keeping up with everything in regards to the CW, what they were doing with the DC Universe, probably know that at one point they wanted Batman, but he was off limits because of, well, studio politics. And then it was going to happen, but then he got embargoed to Titans, and then Titans didn't do much, so they were finally like, okay, use him on Crisis on Infinite Earths, but you got to pull back on it because of Gotham, and there was all sorts of licensing issues and things like that. But things were being worked out. So with the Gotham Knights series, there was a plan in motion that if the series continued, which, you know, despite what happened with the CW, I don't think that series was going to continue beyond the first season. They revealed that they were having early talks and were looking like they were going to lock in Kevin Conroy for an appearance as Bruce Wayne. Now, on top of this, rumors have also surfaced that they were in talks to try to bring him in as Batman at some point in Superman and Lois, possibly going all the way back to season one, where there are references of Superman working with Batman, but then they kind of pulled back and never mentioned it again. Well, it seems like that they want to go in completely different directions, regardless of what the plans were, once like the first two seasons were out. And um, if you kept up with Superman and Lois, you know they give the giant middle finger to the CW and say, yeah, you know what, that universe doesn't work with me, brother, so creative claws over here, a Hulk Hogan style. I'm probably the best choice for Superman and Lois, I'll be real with you, because it's actually good. <laughs> so, you know, um, it's one of those what could have been. Honestly, I don't need Batman as Superman and Lois, so that's fine. Gotham Knights, it would have been a waste because nobody watched that show, so ultimately... You know, he passed, and unfortunately, he's appeared in a couple other things, like Gotham Knights, because he recorded some stuff for that. Wait, not Gotham Knights. What's the other game? Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League. There we go. Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League. That's the way I forgot its name. It's so bad. But his legacy will live on, and that we can be sure of. Even if he didn't get to fully ever suit up as Batman, still, he is, for most people, the Batman.